Hi guys, welcome back. This time we're going to be introducing you to the all new laser gut craftsman kit called All State Machine Parts by the nice folks at the ITLA. Now this is a very versatile kit. You can make it any different number of ways. It comes as sections that you can, well, anything you want, make any different size and shape. Very well cut out, very well planned. And of course, as ITLA always does, they give you a whole bunch of instructions with lots of tips and help items and stuff like that. I actually received two of the pre-production units. This is something that is literally brand new. This is what the parts look like when you get them out of the packaging. Exceptionally well cut out, well planned. Now the sections, you can see there are different wall sections. You can choose either to leave in the plugs or take the plugs out. It was suggested that I use rattle can paint and I was a little concerned about that but it turned out quite well. And now there's parts, there's a number of parts on these backings and they take different colors. So here's the spot that the finished model is going to go. It's been a weird shape. I've had a really hard time trying to figure out what to do with it. So I ended up making a template of the shape, stuff like that. And then of course, I got the construction crew out to get to work. I mean, how else are we gonna get it built unless we get that done? Of course, be careful about taking the tape off. I almost lost a couple of parts, just like that, you can see there. And here's what the parts came out looking like. The paint came out really well, that rattle can paint. I'll use it again sometime. Oh, I almost forgot about using the Roberts brick mortar. What this does is make all of the burned in texture just pop. And you can determine how much you want, how heavy you want the mortar by simply removing a bit of it. And then if you want some more, remove some more. I used my Sharpie pins on a lot of the different coloring. Works really well. The, this material that it's made out of takes it really well. Okay, you can build a number of different aspects of this kit any which way, and I decided I wanted to build the loading dock. You do want to be careful taking a lot of these parts apart because they're very fine. The windows are multiple parts. You put the window part in, then put the trim in, and then of course you want to add the glazing. These Craftsman kits come with lots and lots of different parts. You do want to use lots of handy helpers. In this particular case, I'm putting in the supports for the roof. Lots of handy helpers. And don't forget about all the signage that comes with these kits. You can choose any number of different names to make your model. It's kind of fun. And here are all the segments ready to go. The big question is, how am I going to put them together? Oh, and don't forget all of the extra add-ons that come with it. There's all kinds of extra parts that come with this particular kit. Here's one of the looks at some of the stuff that comes with it, water towers and stuff like that. Don't forget to take the time and clean up all the edges. If There's not many nubs on things, but there are a few. And they just go together so nice. All these extras just go together so nice. And here's one of the cool little things. This is the fire escape, and it gives you a little jig to work with. Very fun. And when you put them together, man, they come out so nice. I know it's kind of a simple little add-on, but to make a craftsman kit, you got to have them. What have I gotten myself into? Look at all this stuff piled up. Oh, boy. Now what I'm doing is I'm playing with all the loose pieces. These are not glued together. They're all loose. How am I going to make this silly thing fit together? Hmm. Moving right along, especially the curved wall was kind of interesting. I had to put some backing on it to hold it together. You can make all different kind of shapes for this. Well, here's what I ended up as far as the shape is concerned. And so weird, I had to put in extra supports for the roof. And of course, the roof segments that came with it didn't fit, so I had to make my own. So here I am putting the cardboard on the top and it ended up being a lot of fun trying to fit this sucker on it didn't go on easy next thing to do of course is put on all the molding the molding comes it's this really hard interesting stuff make sure to use very sharp nippers don't try to cut it with your razor knife and look at the shape of this building you can do all kinds of stuff with this particular kit make any shape you want of course, these weird shapes ended up being a challenge to use my handy helpers to hold things in place. Now, this trim 
comes as a multi-layer, so it's fun. And oh no, my fat old man fingers broke some of it. Well, just be really careful. Of course, any fine scale model, you're going to have to be really careful with the stuff. So I decided, well, why not run a track right between the two buildings? Well, that'll come in a minute. Let's talk about some more of the extra add-ons. I found it was easy to color these ducting parts with the Sharpie and just once again be careful cutting them out because they are very, very fragile. And it goes together really good. You can make all different kinds of shapes and all different kinds of things. And here it is going on to the building. Comes out really nice. Oh, and I wanted to make a crossover from one building to the other, one of those skywalks. So just a few parts that I had laying around. And here's what it started, well, I wouldn't say started, ended up looking like. Came out really, really well. Of course, it's a very weird shape, which is exactly what I was after. And you can see they're just a beautiful, oh, there's my skywalk. Look at that. I even have people on it. That came out really fun. Oh, and I got a little piece of track in there, but uh, let's make sure we attach the track correctly. So the track's got to go in first before the buildings, and then you got to make sure it fits. Okay, it does it fit? Yeah, it fits pretty good. Look at that. And actually, it came out exceptionally well. These kits are just amazing. They're wonderful. You can make any shape, size, uh, whatever. Just fit the spot that you got. And once you put some other stuff around it, you know, make it... Oh, no, I'm derailed. I shouldn't have let that car get in there. How am I going to get it out of there? Oh, well, that won't be a problem. You could truly end up with any old shape you want to fit any spot on your layout. And this wonderful new kit, the Allstate Machine Parts from the ITLA scale model folks, will help you out. Give it a try. I had a lot of fun with it, you try it too. For fun, how about a little helicopter view? Here's the newest business in town! Hope you enjoyed this guys, come back and see me again sometime. Bye now! Well, there you have it. Go have a look around the ITLA website. I'm sure you'll find something you like. They have lots of very cool products and very nice people. So here's their address. Have fun. Come back and join me again sometime. Bye, guys.